What's up, everybody? Hope you're having an awesome start to your week, and I hope you're still feeling really amazed at the games that we saw this past weekend. I've never seen four games in the divisional round go down to the wire to the final play every single game. Man, that's what we love about football. And if you're a Jet fan, you definitely love seeing Tom Brady lose and get bumped out of the playoffs, and you love seeing the Buffalo Bills get bumped as well. But you also have to be concerned about where we stack up against these teams. The Jets have a lot of assets this year. A lot of things to be done. Biggest offseason of Joe Douglas and Robert Salas' tenure together. But you look at those teams and you're just like, where are we going to get to that point? What do we have to do? What can we take away? And that's what this video is going to be. We're going to take away some lessons from these games. There's a lot for the Jets to learn and digest. And I hope that they replicate and understand what needs to be done for us to not be in a playoff drought watching in January, but for us to be in the mix. I want to feel that emotion. I want to feel terrified watching the Jets play in January again because it means that we're doing something meaningful. We're kicking off offseason talk on this channel. We're going to start getting into free agents, free agent targets, trade targets, draft scenarios, all that. And I'm excited for it. And I hope you stick around. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get into it. Lesson number one from this weekend, a rebuild does not take three years. The Bengals are the blueprint. In 2019, they had two wins. They drafted Joe Burrow. They drafted T. Higgins. They won four games. Then they drafted Jamar Chase. And I'm like, why? Why would you guys do that? You should protect your quarterback to come back from an ACL injury. Why? The Bengals want playmakers. The Bengals have the playmakers. And they've got the quarterback. And just like that, two wins to four wins to the AFC Championship game. Now, in 2020, the Jets had two wins. This last year, we had four. We need to make sure we can at least get into the playoffs. Now. There's no excuse. The Jets love to talk about four, four wins isn't enough. We know that. We appreciate you saying it. But tell us what you're expecting next year. Because what we need to expect is playoffs. You can do it in three years if you invest the right way. You have the quarterback. You have the assets. You have the money. You have a playoff drought, most importantly. So leave nothing on the table. Leave nothing undone. Playmakers make big plays that win the big games. Lesson number two. If you got your quarterback, get their quarterback. First and foremost, the 49ers, the Jets. We need to live vicariously through them as fans watching the 49ers. The 49ers are the blueprint for the Jets in terms of who they are, how they play ball. Robert Salas from there. Mike LaFleur is there. Our offensive line coaches from there. The same philosophies are going to be in place here. And what you saw with the 49ers defense did to the Rams in week 18, Cowboys and the Packers is exactly what the Jets are trying to build as well. They've got talent at all levels of the defense. They've all been coached by Robert Sala. Every single guy on that roster that's making big impactful plays was picked by Robert Sala. Fred Warner, Greenlaw, Bosa, Armstead, Mosley, Ward, all of Robert Sala's guys. Obviously, we're going to invest in the offense, and that's the main thing. But the defense? Give Robert Sala that chance. Whether we have to trade for Dean Hunter, sign Chandler Jones, Trayvon Kayvon Thibodeau, do whatever we need to do to make sure that we can get to their quarterback. And as you saw with the Rams, the Rams abused Brady with their inside, interior pass rush and their edge pass rush. And that is the blueprint. These two high-powered offenses are always going to be susceptible to the edge rush and inside pass rush. And the Jets, 49ers, 49ers can shut down anybody. We need to be able to replicate the same thing. So, if you got your own quarterback, make sure you get your opponents. Number three, join the AFC arms race. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes are the kings of the AFC. And, and they proved that with their performance on Sunday. Trading touchdowns, making big plays with their legs, doing everything that you want from a quarterback. And we need to be able to get through them if we want to get back to where we want to get to and get to the promised land. Josh Allen is our opponent twice a year. Mahomes will be our opponent if we want to get to the Super Bowl. Let alone Joe Burrow, Justin Herbert, Lamar Jackson. All these quarterbacks are going to be loaded with offense, in the playoff hunt, and the Jets need to be able to play their part. The Buffalo Bills strangled us in week 18. The Chiefs moved down the field with ease. 13 seconds was not enough to stop the Chiefs from getting a game-tying field goal, and then they went down the field and put a 42 spot and closed the game against the Bills. We need to have a high-powered offense, and we need to have a strong pass rush in front seven if we're going to have a chance to get in the mix and win double-digit games next year and going forward. But we can do it. We have the assets, like I said. We have the money. We have everything that we need. If we want the AFC East, beat Josh Allen. If we want the Super Bowl, be ready for the King. In closing, I'm excited about the opportunity to look at prospects, look at tape, analyze who we have on the roster, look at free agents, the draft, 
this is an exciting time to be a Jet fan. I'm excited to bring content to you all. Hope you guys all enjoy. So make sure you're up to date with all the videos. Definitely like, subscribe with the notifications, and comment what you want to see. What do you think? I value what you would say about our team. We're all having our own opinions about the Jets. And hey, maybe somebody's got a better comment or better plan than I do or better idea. This is what it's all about. We're an inclusive community. We all love the Jets. We all want the same goal. So let's discuss it. Thanks for watching the video. And God bless.